All right, so Mortal Kombat Legends Battle Realms has come out, and I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you've already seen it, hopefully, because I'm going to spoil the movie a little bit when I'm talking about my predictions for what could be Mortal Kombat Legends 3. So just beware. Let's have some fun and talk about my... These are my list of five possible guesses of what... If they wanted to continue the Mortal Kombat Legends animated movie franchise or universe, what they could possibly do for the next movie. So let's get to it. All right, so at the end of Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms, we basically had Fire God Liu Kang defeat uh, one being Shinnok, really. And after that, everything just kind of finished, bing, bang, boom, done, and we went on with our merry way. All right, so we got that out of the way. So my first guess is what they could possibly do for a storyline is do Deadly Alliance. So in Deadly Alliance, and, and I say loosely based, loosely based, so Deadly Alliance, of course, has Quan Chi and Shang Tsung team up together. They, you know, kind of take out Raiden and Liu Kang and they have to battle uh, Onaga and all that kind of stuff. So and it goes with Deception and Armageddon and all that kind of good stuff. So that's kind of what it's about. And what's interesting in how it could work is at, in Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms, Shang Tsung does not die like I predicted. He, Liu Kang does not kill him and let, he lets him live while his legs are broken. They probably can heal, even though he's kind of old. I think that Shang Tsung maybe realizes that he needs help now that Shao Kahn's gone. And so he possibly makes a trip to another realm and realizes who can I get on my side that at the moment won't turn his back on me. And Quan Chi could be a possible one. I know Quan Chi was killed by Scorpion, but as a person of the nether realm, do we, do we think that Quan Chi's dead? Probably not. He's probably lurking around or just waiting to be summoned back. So maybe Shang Tsung can do that, teams up with Quan Chi, and they maybe get their revenge on Scorpion. Uh, Raiden is dead, unfortunately, but they get his their revenge on Liu Kang. It could just work out that way, and then they could introduce new characters and maybe try to bend the rules of Mortal Kombat. And, you know, it's stuff they could do anything they want to do, but that's one of my guess is they could probably try to introduce the Deadly Alliance storyline and cause chaos. So next up, I have Sindel and Melina being Shao Kahn's Avengers. Now, this is probably less likely to happen because do I really think that these two can carry a movie? Probably not. But I will say that while Shao Kahn, we never see Melina, even though fans wanted to see her, we didn't really see Sindel, although I've seen some possible screenshots around the internet recently that there's this woman leaning, like, kind of watching and it looks like it's Sindel, but we don't have anything concrete. But if we are to assume that maybe Shao Kahn had Sindel as the queen of Outworld, even though in Battle of the Realms, Katana kills Shao Kahn and claims herself as queen, maybe Sindel was still lying around somewhere or is lurking somewhere, and Melina is on her side, along with Shiva and Rain and possibly some other, you know, Tanya, I mean, there could be a number of characters that could be introduced now and maybe they try to get their revenge for Shao Kahn's death. It's possible. And then in the process, you know, we could have the mommy to daughter storyline and Katana trying to save her mom and all that kind of good stuff. It could happen. So it could be Sindel's trying, Sindel trying to conquer Earthrealm. It could, it could happen. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but it's a possible storyline we can go with. So that kind of leads me up to my next one, which is a Kotal Kahn Mortal Kombat X. So now that Shao Kahn is gone, there are going to be other forces of evil, I guess, that may not necessarily agree that Earthrealm and possibly Katana should be in charge. So maybe Kotal Kahn could make an appearance and he try to overthrow Katana and take over Outworld for himself. And in the process, we'll get some of those characters, you know, from Mortal Kombat X, like Aaron Black and... and um, Terran 4. And, uh, I mean, there could be any number of characters. Maybe Devora will make another appearance because, well, she got stabbed. Did she really die, though? Because her eye, she opened her eyes. So maybe she's still lurking around, too. And, you know, maybe she'll try to resurrect Shinnok. Who knows? It's it's always possible. And it could be a, fat, you know, a flash forward story. So maybe we could also have the introduction of the kids. So we could have Cassie Cage and, Jack Spr Cassie Cage and Jackie Briggs. And uh, maybe that that could happen. Next up, I, let's talk about, since Fire God Liu Kang was in here, let's talk about Kronika. Maybe Kronika could be introduced now. And I know what you're thinking, no, Justin, don't introduce her. But, but, think about some of the things that happened 
to lead up to Mortal Kombat 11 and why she got involved. And this movie, those things kind of happened again. It just wasn't Raiden. So Raiden, of course, gives up his powers as Thunder God and becomes mortal so he can participate in Mortal Kombat. And he dies. But Liu Kang basically becomes Fire God Liu Kang with the intervention of the Elder Gods. He wins Mortal Kombat. And if I remember right, all that was supposed to happen was supposed to be the final Mortal Kombat tournament. And if Liu Kang won, that means that there'd be no other tournaments and the realms would be separated and everything would be hunky-dory. Where in there did it say that the Elder Gods were going to give him powers and make him godlike? I don't remember that happening. Did you did you hear that? I don't remember hearing that. So that means that there was intervention that maybe was not supposed to happen. They only intervened because Shinnok was able to resurrect the one being, consume his power, and become one being Shinnok. So Shinnok is also Kronika's son, right? So if Shinnok is dead at the hand of Liu Kang, but the only reason Liu Kang was able to kill him was because of the Elder Gods. You get where I'm going with this? Those are two reasons that she could possibly step in and intervene and maybe do a Kronika storyline of reversing what happens, resurrecting characters, and basically having Mortal Kombat 11 happen. I'd be okay with seeing that in animation form. I know that the video game cutscenes and stuff are basically moving themselves, but it'd be kind of cool to see it happen in, anima in animation form and maybe they'll do stuff a little bit differently. All right, and my final prediction for Mortal Kombat Legends 3 would be the Great Kung Lao as a Mortal Kombat prequel. Now we know that Kung Lao, sad to say Kung Lao dies, Kung Lao does state that he is a descendant of the great Kung Lao when he's about to battle Shao Kahn. And because he says that and introduces it, oh, and we also get a flashback with Shang Tsung battling what I'm pretty sure is the great Kung Lao and killing him. I think that that kind of sets up an introduction with him and we could actually go there and, you know, have Baraicho and maybe Fujin and other characters kind of come into play, you know, you know, and of, of, kind of like a pre Mortal Kombat era uh, and have, you know, the great Kung Lao battle Goro and then, you know, ultimately die at the hands of Shang Tsung. Maybe, I mean, we could do a lot of things with it and have a lot of characters be introduced. And I think that they, that would work. And I think what's good about that storyline is if we were to do that and have a prequel of the great Kung Lao, I don't know what you would call it, but you know, MK legends, history i don't know that's a crappy title anyways they come up with something because we go with that one they'll get fans prepared for mortal kombat 12 because as we know netherrealm studios is possibly prioritizing mortal kombat 12 over injustice and any of their projects because they're fearful that they might be sold off and they might you know have a hard time getting licensing with warner brothers characters that aren't their own so if they were to do that and we continue with Mortal Kombat 11 with what fire god Liu king you know went back in time and saw the great kung lao we could do that in an animation form first and get fans prepared because it's kind of an unfamiliar storyline and it doesn't have to be exactly like what they'll do in the video game, but just enough to get fans prepared with characters and stuff like that and say, oh yeah, I saw that in the movie and now I see it in the video game and I want to play as him. Marketing, marketing right there. That'd be good stuff right there. So those are my predictions for Mortal Kombat Legends 3. There can never be a Mortal Kombat Legends 3 really. I think with the way the second one ended, it was kind of just like a quick, you know, get everything in. If the movie is popular, they possibly could do another one. But we also have rumors of the Mortal Kombat HBO Max show. It could be live action. It could be animation. If I think they could do a Mortal Kombat anime series would be kind of cool. So there's all lot, there's tons of things they could do. But if this movie is really successful in sales, or you know, as it recently showed from Sama TV that 5.5 million people watched Mortal Kombat, the new Mortal Kombat movie on HBO Max, I think that that tells people that. Mortal Kombat fans are out there and we're prepared to consume content. Whatever the case may be, we're ready. So, you know, those are my predictions for Mortal Kombat Legends 3. Possibilities for sequels, prequels, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think about my predictions? What are your own predictions? Love to see them in the comments below. And that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to hit that like button. Once again, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time on the mashup.